Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus barium hydroxide. And the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I've already balanced the molecular equation here, so that's done. Now we need to write the state for each substance, and that'll look like this. So compounds with the ammonium ion are very soluble. So ammonium carbonate is soluble, even though carbonates in general are insoluble. Our ammonium carbonate, it's aqueous. It'll dissolve, split apart into its ions. Barium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it's going to be soluble. It's going to be considered aqueous. But barium carbonate, this is insoluble. That means that it's a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate since it's insoluble. It forms a solid. Ammonia, you might consider that a gas. You could consider it aqueous, although if it's aqueous, it's really not going to dissociate much. So either way, it's not going to change our equation very much. Water is a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. We didn't split the solid apart. We didn't split the gas apart, and we didn't split the liquid apart. So these all they're going to stay together. We didn't change those. But everything else, we split apart into ions. At this point, we would cross out spectator ions. But everything is different in the reactants and products. So there's really no spectator ions here that we can cross out. So the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus barium hydroxide. So this is the net ionic equation for NH42CO3 plus BaOH2. You'll note that if you add all of the charges up, that'll be zero in the reactants. And the products, these are all neutral, net charge of zero. Charges conserved, and if you count the atoms, they're balanced too. Because ammonia is considered a weak electrolyte, it's a weak base, all we would really do is change this to aqueous here. We wouldn't split it apart. So either way is okay. The ammonia probably would dissolve some in the water. Much of it would probably be a gas as well. Either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate and barium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.